Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, before we start this off, if you see my cuticles, they are very bad right now and I'm trying to fix it. So I'm gonna try, just leave me alone, please. I already, I already know, no need to comment. But anyways, <laughs> today we have Wintertime Wonderland, or Wintertime Wonderland, what is this called? Winter Wonderland, just Winter Wonderland, no time. Bella Parker, uh, she's the only one I have today. These are $29.99, which is kind of a lot for this. <laughs> so I haven't got the others. Um, but y'all know Bella. Obviously, I had to get Bella. Um, anyways, so here's the box. We have Winter Wonderland, Never Ending Snow Day for All Day Play. That... Oh, looking at this box, it's kind of aggressively holographic. Now that I'm like really looking at it, I'm like, whoa, whoa, that's a lot. Uh, anyways, Bella Parker on the side. And then Bella, Bella Parker, Bella Parker. Is this the first Bella we've gotten for a slime era? I think it is. Well, we have the junior, but this is the first like full size one, I'm pretty sure. Um, and yeah, so I don't think this outfit really screams Bella, but we'll get into it. Let's, let's get her out of the box. All right, Bella's out of the box. There is a lot to this doll, so uh, let's get into it, shall we? So first things first, we do have the standard rainbow high comb in pink, and we also have a matching stand in pink. She has this pair of sunglasses that are very large, uh, fit her head very well, just kind of get rid of her eyebrows, really emphasize that forehead. <laughs> it's like a hot pink lens moment going on, kind of snow goggle vibes with an RH on the side and like a pearly glittery white paint she has this pink plastic translucent glitter purse with a white pearl handle not really sure what this shape is supposed to be but you know she's got it it's very icicle looking and then she has this rainbow high mug it's just solid pink plastic with like little circles on it for some reason i don't don't really know what the circles are for um and you can see it has a little handle so she can hold it and you're going is there anything on the underneath underneath it no there's not oh the stand just broke Ooh, i love rainbow high stand next we have this pink plastic syringe it's covered in snowflakes and it has some measuring things on it and yep that's a syringe you're supposed to put water in the skirt uh not sure how i feel about that like the possibility possibility of mold that's crazy also it does not look like there's any way to get the water out crickets um so i don't know y'all i don't know i don't know we have this little plastic mold here you can open it um maybe <laughs> there we go that becomes our snowman uh i know like the prototypes for these had like the actual like pets and i kind of wish they had came with the pets as well as snowman but yeah hot pink translucent plastic and then you get like these little cardboard pieces to decorate it and i think that's like glitter uh, in there so yeah some glitter and this is our like snowman a uh, snow question mark i am having a hard time getting it open not gonna lie like this like plastic stuff only comes off in like little sections and yeah so i'm probably just gonna like slice into it but i think it might be the same as if y'all collected lol surprise like the undercover not undercover under wraps pets like would come in this sand stuff so or the accessories would come in the sand stuff i think it's going to be the same stuff but i'm not 100 percent sure yet and if it is i'm going to be excited because i love this sand stuff it's like kinetic sand it's so great but anyways let's try to get it out of this packaging y'all okay i was right it is the kinetic sand stuff Oh, this stuff feels great. I love this stuff. This smell. It smells like glue. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to put it in snowman. All right, like, tripod wants to be annoying, so kind of awkward angle. But anyways, it's going to... So, like, the box was like, stretch it, mold it, squeeze it, I think is what the box said. So, yeah, you can kind of stretch it. Kind of. And then, let's see, it was kind of, it's not very messy either, so that's why I also like it. Like, you would think it would be super, super messy, but no. Actually, pretty decent. Oh, and they just recently used this on, oh, wow, this is so satisfying. They recently used this on some other LOL tots, the, like, sand wig ones. So cute. I got one of those, so fun. 
Uh, I kind of want to, there was a couple of them I wanted but never did end up getting, isn't there? So I don't know if I should put, yes, okay. Sometimes, ooh, wow, great texture. Ooh. Oh, and then you can take your snowman out. Okay, okay. So in my head, like, the snowman stays in the, the, the mold for some reason, but it just occurred to me that the snowman's probably supposed to come out of the mold and then be, like, one little sand sculpture kind of moment. This one's, I feel like, softer than the under wraps pets was. I feel like the ones with under wraps pets was definitely sturdier, stood together better. But this one's so, like, I like the way it rips, uh, like, falls apart. It looks really cool. Like... Do you want to do it? No, I'm not going to do it. Like, ooh, that looks cool to me. Anyways, how are y'all doing? I'm just putting this in here, you know. How's y'all's day? I had a long day of training at work today over stuff I pretty much already knew. So that was fun, lots of fun. Um, I feel like I still need more. Oh my gosh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so gonna kind of try to that's not gonna work it needs more it definitely needs more but look it's gonna fall apart <gasps> well y'all can't see it fell apart again but uh yeah this is taking forever so yeah that's how my day went um <laughs> the girlies were fighting over things and i was just like okay well <gasps> ah! Oh my god, I'm just trying to do this. Why is this being so difficult? I think I'm gonna have to use all the sand. Oh, shocker, I'd use all the sand. I should have just started with that, really. But in my head, that was gonna be too much. And here we are. And now I look dumb. Anyways, we're going to do that. Now we have this little snowman. And in theory, ta da! Wow. That is, that is cute. Not gonna lie. Still wish they had the actual slime pets because I actually do enjoy the slime pets quite a bit because they're kind of dumb looking. Um, and I wanted Bella's, obviously. But here we are. That's cute. This is literally not labeled at all. I'm pretty sure it's glitter and I don't want to open it because then it's going to be glitter everywhere. Uh, but so, sorry y'all. I don't think we're going to get a demonstration of this today. But I'm sure it's just glitter you can put in the snowman shocker i know but uh, anyways these little cardboard pieces are now making much more sense to me because that means it's not supposed to stay in the plastic in my head the snowman like stayed in the plastic thingy when i first saw it but now it's making sense uh, but anyways we can now decorate our little snowman here i'm gonna give our snowman this like winky face that i think is pretty cute um, can i stick it so I think you're supposed to just, <laughs> like it's going to break. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's not going well. So in theory, um, you can do that. But like I said, this sand is so, like it does not hold its shape super well. I don't know. Maybe I need to get it like wet or something. But okay. See, and now this wants to keep doing that. Just give me a minute. All right. Here's our decorated snowman. So in theory, I think this is a lot of fun. Uh, in practice, like this is not holding up to play at all. I know I'm supposed to do it like over and over again, but I can't imagine a kid being very happy that their snowman keeps- They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Falling apart. See, that wasn't even on pur <laughs> purpose. Like that's just the sand. Like it is not. Yeah, so. This is, that was kind of depressing. I'm not gonna, wow. So that's how the sand goes. <laughs> All right, moving on to our doll. Let's just address the elephant in the room. Her forehead is massive. Like, oh my God, what is going on there? Like she needs like maybe an inch more of a hairline. Like, I don't know y'all, but her head is huge. So in theory, I really adore this makeup look. Uh, matter of fact, it's something I'd probably do myself. But anyways, she has like, this really light pink shadow on the lid and like a little bit of like a gray on the crease just for some definition there. Uh, and then this like really pretty blush. That's my favorite part is the pink blush that goes across the nose with the little stars and the circles. Super cute. Love that. Like the freckle moment we got going on there. And then this lip is kind of like a 
It just kind of looks like she has chapped lips, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, it kind of reminds me of like the Korean lip trend a little bit with the little like darker in the center kind of moment and just kind of like gloss. Uh, could have been really cute. I don't think it was executed super great. Like the bottom, she looks like she has no bottom lip, especially from this angle. Looks better straight on, of course. Uh, let's just do that. It looks way better. But I do not look at her from this angle. And then the little black lines for definition. That's fine. That's dandy. Uh, what, where we start to lose me is this eyeliner. I don't know why we went back to like the clunky series one eyeliner shape especially when all of the other like newer dolls have not had this like for some reason we've only been using the classic series one sculpt which is fine don't get me wrong i don't really hate this sculpt but like i know they can do the makeup better than this so i am confused by the choice of eyeliner shape here not my favorite it's a little like stubby looking as far as that wing goes and then the bottom the bottom lash here like liner like i don't know why it is so thick and so just like boom in your face definitely like i think we could have gone without the bottom liner completely if you ask me or done like white i think that would have looked really cute but especially like the way it ends it's just so blunt it's not like a nice pointed edge at all and it's not just mine like all of them look like this matter of fact the other ones i've seen look worse so I saw three sunnies at Target the other day and they all had a horrible awful liner. But yeah, I don't I just don't understand why. This is the shape we went with. And it's really kind of unfortunate because we can't really go in and like fix it with acetone because of the blush. I mean you would have to remove the blush and then like read it. It's just a lot of work that I don't feel like doing. But yeah, I love the love the idea of the blush, love the eyeshadow, like the idea of the lips. Uh, but the only thing that was done really well here is definitely the blush and the eyeshadow. Everything else is kind of a flop. Uh, the brows, too. What is up with this brow shape, y'all? Why? Why did she need these giant, thick, stubby, shapeless eyebrows? What? Like, remember the, the Color and Create doll I just did? Way better eyebrows. Her junior high doll that's over here with sticker residue on her face don't mind her sticker residue Ooh, that looks disgusting on the camera um i should really wipe that off <laughs> i was gonna you see i was gonna film a review for these and then i never did so i took the stickers off because i had opened her and then i was gonna put the stickers back on i don't even know where i put the stickers anyways i'll fix her face later but like her eyebrow shape is so much better <laughs> like what is going on in her like her liner too look at that do you see the difference there and this is the junior high doll like what it's a little ridiculous if you ask me uh let me see let me grab like hmm, let's see this doll right here next to me she'll be good this is pre slime but you see what i mean like the shapes make such a huge difference see how nice and like sharp skylar's liner is the inner corner comes to a point and like it doesn't have this like that blunt edge on the bottom like there's just so much oh she has like this stuff over here oopsie uh just so much we could do so much better i don't understand like this did not it's like they reverted back it's definitely a step back in the makeup department they're like oh y'all didn't like the winter or winter break faces that much well guess what we're gonna do them even worse and it's really unfortunate to me because obviously i love bella and she's my favorite but like and I love a winter theme as well. And this makeup is so cute in theory. And now I've been rambling for five minutes. But yeah, I just wanted to get that out there. Also, can I just say, when I heard that there was going to be a winter Bella, I got so excited about the prospect of Bella with like pink fuzzy earmuffs. <laughs> and we didn't get that. We got her. But we didn't get the earmuffs. <laughs> and I'm really sad about that. Moving on. All right, so moving on to her hair, it's actually quite pretty. Ooh. And the curls have like barely any product, uh, just like a little bit right here, crunchy right here. It's of course our lovely gorgeous nylon. And like the curls, really, again? I swear, these dogs, I'm so tired of these dogs, y'all. Anyways, um, pretty curls for box curls, gorgeous, uh, especially like these ones in the ponytail absolutely gorgeous like okay don't love the tinsel but it is the nicer like twisted tinsel so that's nice 
at least. And I am really enjoying like the hot pink in her hair. I think it makes a really cute contrast. And then she has these three like French braids. I think those are, no, are those they're going underneath. Okay, they're going underneath. So those are Dutch braids. Three Dutch braids that go into the one big ponytail, which is really cute. Very Arianka uh, sweetener tour uh, is what it reminds me of. She just needs like little rings. Uh, so yeah, love that. Love the hair. Very happy with the hair. Give it up for the hair. Moving on to the outfit. The first thing we have is this pleather, pink pleather jacket. It's very, it's giving Pretty and Punk Jade. It's also giving um, her first edition series two doll. Uh, had a very similar jacket, just more detailed <laughs> and with a nicer pleather. <laughs> so yeah, it's just kind of like a motocross basic biker jacket. I'm I'm kind of over this style of jacket, y'all. I'm sorry. Like it's we're done. Like we have so many of these jackets. I'm just I'm just tired. It's very well made. The pleather is nice. It has zipper details, buckle details. I'm sure if you sat here and mess with it, you could actually get that to close as well. Uh, little studs. And like the stitching is really nice, all the hems, everything looks good. Uh, but once again, just tired of this jacket. Also, like I was saying earlier, this outfit just does not feel very Bella. Like I don't know why. Why? I know her first doll has like the biker jacket, but we were kind of giving everybody biker jackets back then, so I didn't really think it was like a Bella thing per se. Like Bella's a bit more like you know classic Chanel, like a hoodie with a motocross jacket over it. Is that what we're doing? Is that really what we're doing? Like, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Anyways, let's get the jacket off so we look at the hoodie. Here's the hoodie. It's made from this, like, pink, uh, glittery fabric, uh, cotton knit kind of moment going on here. It's, it's really pretty, actually. I do like, I kind of like this hoodie. Okay, this hoodie feels more Bella than the jacket does but it kind of has like a built-in corset going on here very cute it says rainbow high on it and then it has these like the drawstrings are this like glitter fringe rhinestone rhinestone that's the word it's like rhinestone tinsel thing you can i've totally bought this like at walmart before uh but it's cool to see it's different fabrics it is really well made again like all the stitching and all the effort and detail you can definitely tell we have the fake hood with the velcro in the back and as well as the velcro on the hoodie and i do give them props for making the hoodie lot like full full sleeved because they could have easily just done like a sleeveless hoodie with the jacket over it so kudos mama for that i uh, love the little cuffs on the end look really nice yeah really nice hoodie overall actually don't hate the hoodie don't hate it that's probably my favorite piece from her all right and then we have the skirt um what do i say about this skirt <laughs> okay so first of all the waistband is made from the same pleather as the jacket and has similar stud details that i'm sure will be gone by the end of this video <laughs> uh, the studs go all the way to the back super cute so on all the belt loops love that it has this sand stuff in it uh we have like a green and orange and like this iridescent vinyl kind of fabric here and there's a bunch of that like puffy on here and then we have the two we have giant holes so that's where you put in the water and the instructions give you very specific like measurements for each doll so for bella the top of the one gets 30 milliliters and then the bottom gets 80 milliliters and like there's some for every girl over here and it even shows you like how you do it like if i could hold it properly there you go and like i'm so scared um but i think i'll do it i think i'll do it just for you guys i know i i make so many sacrifices for you i hope you appreciate me <laughs> you know it's just, like really hard being such a great person sometimes <laughs> but i do it because I'm selfless, 100%. Uh, anyways, <laughs> so underneath that iridescent, like, oh, maybe it's, uh, this is just like clear vinyl, actually. I lied. It's kind of foggy, actually. Foggy vinyl. Uh, it's an iridescent pink fabric underneath. It's like a satiny type of material. It's very interesting. <laughs> uh, the sewing looks good. I just think this 
the idea of this skirt is absolutely bizarre. So it's like a puff mermaid skirt that's high-low. Um, so, yeah, there's just a lot going on with that. I don't love it. I, I'm sorry. Like, I know it's Bella, and I'm supposed to love everything about Bella, and she can never do any wrong, but Mama, she did some wrong. <laughs> I... Oh, and also this body. It's the the no wrist body. The, like, prototype picture. She can... She, <laughs> she's, like, sitting on the skirt. <laughs> like, it's so funny. Um, the prototype pictures that, the, like, are on the box, I think. Are they on the box? No, they're not on the box. But they used for proto, like, promotion. Her stock photos have wrists. And I thought maybe, like, they were going to bring them back. But no. <laughs> Here we are and like it wouldn't even be that big of a deal if we had the upper thigh because then i could just literally just give her new like pop arms out of an old doll and be fun and you know fine and dandy but the thing is like she has neck articulation but the older bellas obviously don't have that and those were all my extra bodies are older the bellas uh so i don't have like a bunch of neck bella bodies laying around and <laughs> it's so frustrating because like I can just put her on one of those bodies but then she doesn't have neck articulation and like if there's a way to pop the legs out I don't think there is though not without doing a lot of hacking and slashing unfortunately but yeah that's just the adult collector problem not really kid problem I'm sure the kids don't really care that much I don't know they probably some of them might I know I would if I was a kid but I also know there is kids that don't care so it just depends on the kid, for sure. But I am tired of acting like kids don't enjoy quality items. What's up with that? This review is about to be so long because I keep going on tangents. But anyways, moving on. These are her shoes. Um, so they got my girl in a wedge. Evil, absolutely evil. I don't know why she's in a wedge. I don't feel like she'd be the type to wear a wedge. Also, I feel like she needs some sort of tights or something. The, like, barefoot in snow is kind of crazy, especially when you're wearing, like, a motocross jacket over a hoodie with a high-low mermaid gown puffer skirt. Like, do we just not want to cover it? <laughs> Girl, I don't know. Uh, but anyways, they're, like, these little wedges that look like icicles, pink translucent plastic with some white painted details. I'm sure it's supposed to look like, you know, pearls or something. Um yeah not a fan not a fan not gonna lie <clears throat> she's ugh, she had potential guys she had so much potential that's what's irritating me because i love her so much i love bella with my whole heart and like the idea of a winter bella so cute so i was so excited like very my brand <sighs> and this is what we ended up with and I'm not even, like, super mad at her. Like, she's not super offensive by any means. But, like, I just know we had... We could have done so much better. I feel like Michelle Visage, when she tells a girl on Drag Race, and she's like, you could have taken it further. Like, you did fine, but you could have taken it further. That's how I feel in this exact moment. But anyways, let's just do the stupid water thing real quick. All right, I've got water in this mug. I'm hoping it's enough. What did the instructions say? So they do... Lay the doll on a flat surface and massage or shake the powder. They said make sure it's not stuck in a corner. <laughs> uh, so I guess she has to be flat. Don't love that. Because filming is going to be so annoying. Because <laughs> this stupid tripod. Okay. Oh, okay. That's not bad. So, make sure it's evenly distributed. It said... Uh, gonna kind of massage it it said to do this is kind of hard with her specific skirt i feel like because of the way the bubble like the way it bubbles up uh ooh, gimmick dolls Ooh, i just love dolls with gimmicks um yeah okay whatever so <laughs> i'm already like forward how much water did i need um i love that one i love the one so Let's see, the top one needs 30 milliliters. Uh, this only goes up to 30, and the other one needs 80. God, so now I have to do math, which I already don't. <laughs> I hate math. Okay, so. 30. Okay. So, 
now I am going to put that in here like so I think and then just okay we're really doing it Ooh, that's kind of hard why is it not oh wow oh wow it's like inflating why is that so like hard to do oh my goodness um okay well so that's what that looks like <laughs> work okay and then the bottom one needs 80 i'll be right back because i don't feel like you'll need to sit here and watch me do that all right so after making a giant mess i cannot fathom letting a child do this actually especially because the syringe is so hard to push down like the amount of arm strength i had to use y'all i am not out of shape like that was crazy <laughs> anyways this is what the skirt looks like oh god there's water everywhere um so if you can get the sand to move around better this is more of what it's gonna look like which does actually look pretty cool it's very squishy it gets very like large and like kind of puffs up when the sand is actually touching the water uh, however like just her the shape of bella's skirt was not really letting me massage it pretty like at all really y'all saw me trying to do it like it was not really working when i was trying to do it uh prior to putting the water in uh but yeah it just kind of creates this big puff i don't know how much fun that really adds to the doll to be honest with you um like ooh, okay maybe kids will enjoy it i can't imagine them enjoying it just because of how difficult it was to put in there um and the fact it gets water everywhere i know kids that have like sensory issues are not gonna love it uh but anyways there's that parents are gonna hate these dolls too <laughs> i feel like we really could have kept the gimmick out the snowman being like made of snow like i don't know i feel like we could have kept it there and just had like regular outfits uh, but here we are so yeah, I guess that's my, I don't really have much else to say. I've been ranting about her the whole time to wrap it up. You know, I just wish she was normal. <laughs> I wish she had a normal outfit. I wish she had earmuffs. I wish her makeup was better. Love her hair. The hoodie's good. This is a $30 doll, by the way. Uh, snowman, fun in theory. Not really great in practice. Uh, yeah, and but I will say, I will say, the one thing I have really been hammering in, the quality of Rainbow High has not gone down. The bodies have been switched to accommodate a younger demographic. And the clothes are still very excellently made. The dolls feel very sturdy. The application of the makeup is fine. Uh, lots of hair, great nylon. Um, the issue is, is that the designs are just whack. Like, <laughs> I think people confuse not liking a design with bad quality a lot. Uh, so I am here to say that this doll is good quality. Our design's just awful. <laughs> okay, not awful. I don't want to be, like, super mean about it. Like, there is good things about this design, y'all. I just... Ugh. Once again, Michelle Visage could have taken it further. And, like, the gimmick, once again, okay, kind of fun. Looks cool, I guess. Um, how do you empty it? Like, there is no, the instructions don't mention emptying it at all. So I don't love that at all. I think that's just asking for mold, for sure. Insert the nozzle and add water. There's literally nothing in the instructions that I am seeing that mention drainage. I'm looking, I'm looking. There is no drainage. It just tells you how to put the water in and that's it. Um, so yeah. MGA, when you start getting emails about dolls with mold, you made your bed. Uh, but I feel like I 
<laughs> I feel so bad because I'm like I'm over here hating so bad and I don't want to hate it like I really want to love sorry I didn't I got cut off by the you don't have storage thing again which we all know is a lie but anyways like I said I just don't want to hate on this dog because it's Bella like I want to love her so so much but unfortunately I just have issues with this specific doll and I just hope for the best in the future I hope Bella comes back nice and strong. Well, her budget doll looks good, actually. So she'll be fine, for sure. Bella will be fine. Uh, this line, however, not my favorite. Not my favorite at all. And yeah, I am going to leave it at that. Uh, I, I, well, I do want to end on a positive note. Gorgeous, gorgeous hair. Gorgeous, gorgeous hair. Love the hair. Love the hair. But yeah, let me know what y'all think of her down below in the comments. You know, as always, if you enjoy it, the content, please subscribe and follow my socials. And I will see y'all next time, hopefully with a more positive review. I don't like being overly negative by any means, but yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about this skirt, but I will see y'all next time. Bye.